my first day as an every delivery driver. Let's go. If you caught my last video, we looked at applying to be an every delivery driver. Now the process was really quick. Uh, I was rushed through, I, I felt like I was really rushed through. I applied on Tuesday and I started on Friday, which was Friday last week. It's now Thursday this week, so it's like almost a week later. And I haven't been back to every since that training day, just to put it in perspective. So let's have a little think about the training day. Let's go through what I actually did, how it went and what I thought of it. Um, I did record a little bit in the car on the way home, my initial thoughts on it. It was mostly just for myself, um, so I could remember, like, you know, <laughs> initial thoughts on what I thought about every. And my thoughts on every are not positive, really. Um, I mean, I don't want to spoil the video or anything, but uh, it definitely wasn't good. So let's talk about every. Okay, so I've made some notes. I've got some bits and pieces on the computer. So I may be referring across just to, to keep myself right. Um, so on Friday, I turned up for my training day at 10.30. I won't give away the depot. It's in the northeast of England. That's all I'll say. Uh, I turned up there at 10.30. I got there about 15 minutes early. I parked up and I had a little watch. And I, and I, watched, the, I watched the guys at work. And basically, it looked like an absolute shambles. Uh, the whole place was, it wasn't organized very well. It was basically a big warehouse full of the brim of parcels. A lot of guys outside trying to organize their workflow, their rounds all over the floor of this car park outside. Anyway, it, was, it wasn't it was good. It didn't, it didn't look very professional. That was my first thought on it. Um, now, I'm someone, if you don't know this channel, and I, I've been doing a lot of Amazon Flex. Uh, I do some business tutorial type things for uh, my work. And I talk about Royal Mail and we're doing Amazon Flex work on the side. Anyway, so that's what this channel is all about. I'll try not to... Waffle on too much about this channel as well because it's about this video, it's about every and about the way they operate, which uh, frankly is disgraceful. So, uh, like, if you've ever used every to have your things delivered, you probably know you have problems with it. So, uh, I don't know, like, we have a 10% loss rate from our business posting with every. So, and I'm not surprised if this is how they do things, but anyway, let's get started here. So, I turned up there a little bit earlier, I watched the guys sorting their stuff out, and I thought, oof, this looks grim, it looks grim. Um, I don't know if it's just this depot, of course. I mean, I can only comment on what I saw. But as someone who's used to Amazon Flex, which, you know, is very much organized chaos at pick up. You know, people are busy, but there's plenty of space. You've got time to load your car. You, you don't have people all over the place with, with parcels, like literally all over the floor. And we're talking like not, not like 20 parcels. There are hundreds, hundreds of parcels everywhere. And so anyway, uh, I pull in there about 25. I, I, I speak to one of the guys there, one of the dudes loading his car. I said, look, it's my first day. Who do I need to see? And he points us in the direction of the uh, manager. So I go and see the depot manager. She says, all right, uh, uh, the local manager's coming. Uh, I can't remember what they call them. I think community manager. So the community manager comes about 10 minutes later. So she's five minutes late for this, which, you know, it's not a big deal, but it, it, it's annoying. Tardiness is one of those things that ah, really bugs me. Uh, but any, anyway, anyway, so this woman comes over. She says, all right, so, so you're here for your training day. I says, yeah. Um, and she said, well, okay. So this is how the app works. She spent like maybe a minute showing me the app, which is fine. I'd already familiarized myself with it. But then I said, well, and what about pickups? If I pick up some customers or anything like that, oh, that won't come up today. And I said, well, yeah, but what if it does in the future? How will I know what I'm doing? Oh, someone else will show you. She, she was basically, she didn't have time for anything. But I, I said, look, show us how this works, please. Because otherwise, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. What if a customer gives us something or whatever? So she showed us how a pickup works reluctantly. And she said, okay, well, we'll get you out on the road. So this was this was literally, it was it was like 90 seconds that she spent with me in training. Uh, bear in mind, she hasn't asked to see my driving license. She hasn't asked to see insurance. She hasn't asked to see anything. She hasn't told me about insurance or anything. I looked up myself and uh, every insurance, you can get insurance via them for a pound a day. I don't need that. I've got my own insurance, but she didn't know that. She didn't check. I'm, I'm covered by like a pay-as-you-go insurance, like a top-up insurance that I use also for Arms and Flex. Uh, but she doesn't know that. She didn't know that at all. She didn't ask to see my driving license. She didn't check ID. Uh, I haven't done a DBS. That's a police check. Nothing like that. So if you actually look into it, you can have your DBS. You can work there without a DBS check for five weeks. So five weeks you can work there without a police check. So anybody can just work there. And this is how their parcels are going missing, basically. Uh, well, it, it certainly seems like that because they just hire anybody. And so my training consisted of watching maybe three or four minutes worth of videos and then like sub two minutes spent with this manager on the app. I mean, fine, it's not rocket science delivering parcels, but still, you know, this is it's pretty, pretty grim. At least the Amazon videos are in depth and take you through. But this is this was garbage. I mean, I knew what I was doing because I'm, I am an experienced delivery driver. I mean, 
for whatever that for, for, for whatever that counts for and the app uh, and the app is not too dissimilar to the amazon flex app you know it's, it's basically the same kind of thing but anyway so i'm i had agreed that i would work that day and we would do 20 to 30 parcels well packages whatever you want to call them 20 to 30 deliveries now and that was fine because i only had from until about 2 30 because it was quite short notice um bear in mind she booked this in on tuesday evening with me and i said yeah i'm fine on i can do this on friday i'm available until about one o'clock so i had between like 10 30 to one um, and I, I was fine with that. I was fine just to head out and do a few parcels. So anyway, so this woman goes away um, and comes back a couple of minutes later with this huge trolley crate thing, just full, full from top to bottom with parcels. And I said, "What's that?" Uh, she says, "Wow, but this is this is your delivery. This is around your covering today." And I said, "No, it's not." And she just looked at me like, "What? What do you mean? I need you to work today, kind of thing." Uh, and I said, "Well, we agreed that I'll do twenty to thirty drops as a training exercise pretty much just to see what it is i says i don't even know if i'm going to be happy working here to be to be honest with you uh, working with you rather because i'm a self-employed contractor you know you can turn your work away uh, and i said look I'm not, I'm not taking that i told you i was only available at one maybe 130 at, at a push uh, and this is just not happening so she had this trolley i mean must have had 150 160 packages in the same as what all the other guys had by the way they were, they were large rounds some everybody had between i would say 80 to 150 160 packages easy uh, like a full day's work which you know is fine if that's what you're there to do but that's not what i was there to do that day especially not that day um so she's huffing and puffing and saying well you know uh, we need flexibility from our couriers this is well that's all well and good but not today because i told as i told you in the messages which is like right here on the phone uh i'm available at 1 30 you said that's fine so she's huffing and puffing and then she buggers off comes back a couple of minutes later with like another another crate it's not it, it was like uh, how many did i have i had 47 47 drops to make uh but 47 packages it was like 40 drops or something uh which is you know it's okay but if i was brand new to doing deliveries would i be able to do that in, in an hour and a half or two hours well maybe not uh but i, I, I thought well screw it i'll take it i'll see what this is like i'll take it so i took it even though it was 47 packages and we had agreed 20 to 30 no it's just like it's like double but anyway, so I get this, these, uh, <laughs> I, get, I get the crate, there's 47 packages, and I say, well, what now? So just, well, just scan them in, scan them in and put them in your car, and then you deliver them, the, and it'll plan the route for you, okay? So I scan them in, the scanning, no bother, actually, it was no problem, actually, that, that was positive, the app was worked very well. Uh, the app worked just fine, it was just, it sc I scanned them all in, but... The parcels aren't in any kind of order, and it's not like Amazon. It's not like all uniform kind of box sizes and envelopes, you know, the, the uniform stuff you get from Amazon Flex, which makes delivering much easier. So for Amazon Flex, for example, I would put large parcels in the boot. Then I put packages and things like that into the back seat. And then I have a little tub in the front, like a little plastic tub, where we, I put all the postable stuff, all the, all the envelopes, you know, just the things you can post in. And on the app, it also tells you if it's a package or a parcel, whatever it is, that's for Amazon Flex. For every, it tells you nothing. And the packages are obviously all uh, hodgepodge sizes, like all, whatever it is, because the customer can just package them up. There's no uniformity. It's not Amazon. It's, you know, that, that is what it is. That's every, uh, it's just whatever, whatever the customer wants to package the thing in. And that's fine. But none of it's organized, none of it's sorted for you. This is why all these guys are out there with hundreds of parcels and packages and letters strewn all over the floor. We have been bucketing down with rain as well. It was soaking wet, so God knows if they caused any damage. I mean, probably not, but they may have done. Anyway, so they're sorting these parcels on the floor, and I'm looking at these almost 50 packages, which, you know, doesn't sound like a lot, but 50 packages is still 50 packages, and you've got 40-odd drops to make. And I'm just thinking, well, how am I going to do this? And I just chucked them all in the, in the boot, basically. I kind of organized them as best I could. And I just wanted to get the hell away from the depot, to be honest. So, anyway, the app tells me to go to the first delivery place. I find the first parcel. It takes us a couple of minutes to find that. Uh, and I put it on my front seat. So it's ready to go to the first customer. And we drive out there. It's about a 20-minute drive to the first drop. Again, that's absolutely fine. I expect that kind of thing. So it was a 20-minute drive to the, to the uh, pickup station as well. So 20 minutes there. And then 20 minutes further away. Because I was being a lifestyle courier or something, so they could send you anywhere. Which was a, was a bit of a drive from where I live, but that's fine. You expect that as a as a courier. But anyway, so we drive out there. Twenty minutes. I started the deliveries. It's it's actually it's pretty easy. The deliveries. I'll be honest. It was it wasn't hard. It was really quite easy. Uh, so the first delivery, no hitch, no nothing. Uh, the app gives you suggestions of safe places to leave it at. You know, like in 
shed and things like that. So if, if nobody's in, you can you can leave them. Uh, I had no problems with any of the deliveries, to be honest. The 47 deliveries, I, I went, went through reasonably quickly. I mean, it took us a couple of hours, including the 20 minute drive there. So like kind of an hour and a half. Um, but I, I'll call it two hours. It took me two hours, including the drive. Because I mean, at the end of the day, the drive is my time. I'm a contractor for them. And we'll call it two hours for 47 deliveries which you know isn't the quickest i'm sure you can do it faster than that but it was my first time using that app so i was getting familiar with it but anyway 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 this is all beside the points uh so i've made a little list here we've got the pricing okay so the parcel rates this is what they pay, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen this is what they pay you per drop okay so you only paid per successful delivery you're not paid anything any flat rate like at amazon you take a route and you get paid for that route um <laughs> anyway this doesn't do that so i have 47 drops to make of my 47 let me just have a look okay i've got a little post it here so 47 drops uh 23 of those drops were packets uh, not packets they were postables so they were small envelopes i just posted through they were like dvds and stuff like that i guess uh, maybe books um 14 were what were they called they were called packets 14 were packets and 10 were standard they were just like boxes um, so it was like the majority were postables, which I thought, well, that's pretty easy. But actually, when we look at the postables, the pay rate for those is 32 pence. 32 pence. Right. So in total, I made £7.36 from the postables, £5.74 from the packages, and £5.40 from the standard parcels. For a grand total of £18.50. Two hours work, £18.50. Is it already starting to click home how shit this is? Anyway, so let's say I took every insurance. That's a pound, but I didn't have that. I paid my Zago insurance, which is 56 pence. But it could have been a pound if I took their insurance. That would have been a pound for that delivery. It also cost me £4.23 in diesel. That's rounded down. I actually filled back up and it was a fiver, but I discounted some of it because I did a little bit extra driving. So what I did is I filled the tank up I did the deliveries, I drove back, and I filled the tank up again. But I did I did drive to, to a car park in between to record that little bit of uh, afterthought. Which I might add at the end of this. I might not. I'll, I'll see. Uh, anyway, so that was £4.23 in diesel is what I've worked out. So that works out a total that I made on that round for two hours of work. Two hours, give or take. £13.71. That's disgraceful. That works out at £6.85 per hour for those two hours that I've spent delivering every parcels so that that is an absolute disgrace uh, even if you're getting faster at this right even if you're faster i mean I, i'm not the fastest in the world and it was my first time using every app but even if you're doing twice that per hour it's still it's still no amazon flex and you're working much harder you're working way harder for every uh i think it's shocking and i will not be back to every i don't think um no, I, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather go and do an Amazon Flex block, even if it's a crap round, to be honest, because this is, uh, every is a disgrace. And I told I told our manager as much, so I've, uh, I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't officially resigned from offering my services to them, but I haven't heard from them and I haven't put anything through. So I think I probably will just quit every because, well, I'll say quit every, just stop delivering service to them because I'm not employed by every. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. If you've got a choice between Amazon Flex and every, it's Amazon Flex every time. It's got to be. But anyway, so maybe I'll add a little outro of my, my thoughts after the after the delivery. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, whatever it is, just stay clear of every. It's they are they are like, they're a disgrace. I think. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's different if you've got your own round, but like as a lifestyle courier, paid per successful drop, just no, no thanks. I'll stick to Amazon Flex, uh, and if I really wanted to do other deliveries, I could go and be a Domino's delivery guy or something like that, you know, which is something I have also done in the past, which was actually all right. I quite enjoyed working for Domino's. Uh, paid okay. And it wasn't this. Uh, this is, it's shocking. Every is shocking. Shocking, 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 shocking. And I won't be back to work anymore for every. Anyway. Hello there people, so I thought I would do a quick video directly after finishing my first delivery shift uh, with every, as an every courier. So I'm doing that here in a car park. <laughs> I 
I've never recorded out and about before, so this is a new experience for me. Uh, but I mean, not that it's exciting or anything. I'm sure I look even fatter than I normally do sitting here in the car. Um, but yeah, so I've pulled in. <clears throat> My first thoughts on doing every deliveries. Right, so the positives first. The round, it was really easy and really quick. Well, pretty quick anyway. It took, like, so I started off from home. I had to drive 20 minutes-ish to the station to pick up the gear. You know, that's fine. That's just expected, to, to be honest. I mean, you're going to have to drive to pick a gear up anyway. So 20 minutes there. Uh, I got there to do the training. The training was basically... Uh, just this, the local area manager woman showing me the app, which I'd already looked at, and it was it was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, basically, if you if you're familiar with Amazon Flex, it's the exact same sort of thing. You just you get you get given a round, basically. You get like the wheel out of crate, uh, and you scan the 2D barcodes, and then put the stuff into your car or your vehicle, whatever you've got. I've got a car here, and that's that. So th then you start delivering. <laughs> in theory so basically uh, when i got there it looked like an absolute shambles right there was people everywhere people were sorting parcels on the floor uh, you bear in mind it's been raining out it's the, it's pretty wet on the floor but anyway so people were out there sorting parcels out because it's it's not like uh it's not like amazon flex exactly in terms of organization at, at amazon you always kind of get the feeling it's very very busy and it is chaotic but it's organized chaos very much so organized whereas there at the every day, well, I didn't get that feeling at all. It just felt like chaos. There was, I can't even tell you how many parcels and packages were in that depot, thousands and thousands. And there was like 20 couriers there trying to sort their stuff out as they were putting it in the car. And now the app, the app sorts out the delivery route for you, but your packages, I mean, you get packages of all shapes and sizes. It's, t it's hard to keep on top of what's what. Whereas if I'm doing deliveries for Amazon, say I'll put big parcels in the boot, then packages like larger packages in the back seat and my letter size things that can be posted in a box right here on my passenger seat but the there's no sort of uniformity to the parcels at hermes which you would expect i mean amazon obviously all ships from amazon or mostly ships from amazon directly so they're all in fairly standard sized uh, containers whereas these are all different shapes and sizes it makes life a lot harder but yeah, so anyway, the, the positives are the route was easy. The, it was um, it was a 20 minute drive to the depot, a 20 minute drive from the depot to my delivery area. Uh, the deliveries were all fairly close. I, I've done, I've done, how many miles did I do today? Let's have a look. Uh, 49 miles. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, I'll work out what the fuel cost is after. Uh, I, I filled up the tank before I started. So I'll fill it up again uh, on my way home here. Um, and we'll see how much fuel I used and, and we'll have a look at the pay as well. We'll see how much we've been paid. They pay different rates for different package sizes. So, I mean, I'll put a link to that up in the video. I, I think I'll probably do like a video of, like my normal kind of video of sitting in the in my office and doing doing the reflection as well. I just wanted to do this while it was fresh in my mind, but basically it was a shambles. I don't know how much I'm getting paid for this. Uh, it didn't feel very well organized. I, I, I didn't enjoy it, if I'm honest. So I, I don't really know. One of the guys in the comments before I started asked me if you have to make three delivery attempts for each package. Um, no, you, you don't. You did used to have to, but I think, but uh, now you don't. You, you return any undeliverables uh, to the station the following day, uh, which you know is a bit of a pain in the butt for me because the following day would be Saturday tomorrow. It's Friday day, Saturday tomorrow. So I would have to go back to that station tomorrow to drop the stuff off. But I mean, I haven't got any returns. But uh, if I did have some, I'd have to go there tomorrow and drop that off. That's just, you know, I've got stuff to do on Saturday. I've got things going on. Um, <clears throat> so no thanks. But anyway, I'd be lying if I said I enjoyed this delivery run. I mean, the delivery itself was easy, but working for every is, it's not for me, I don't think. Um, the car's got the stop start thing it's just kicked back in I hope it's not gonna interfere too much but uh, anyway uh, yeah I, d I don't think it's for me I, I think it was I didn't really enjoy it at all if I'm being honest it, the organization side of things it didn't feel organized I like I have to have a look at the pay I'll, I'll see how much money you come out with to see if this is anything worth doing over Amazon Flex I get the feeling it's not it's pretty disappointing because I had been looking forward to doing it but I can't, I can't see this working out for me to be honest but it may well work out for other people um i did 47 packages uh took us about just over two hours but that was including you know getting the hang of how to do this i've never 
used the app before it's a slightly different to the flex app but it's the same thing in principle um but yeah so i mean i'm gonna start driving now i'll, I'll put me cool dude's sunglasses on these are prescription sunglasses so we're gonna start driving we're gonna start heading back to the house um but yeah basically every delivery uh, wasn't great i feel like uh I'm not that keen to go back and do more. I'm not sure exactly what it is about it that I didn't like, but something, that's for sure. It just, it didn't feel organized. That's the main thing. And uh, actually one of the customers, one of the, one of the women that I delivered the, to there complained to me about the service that she's received from every. So she said, she said the tracking, Thing he hadn't updated she didn't even know it was coming today so it was, it was just a good look that she was in i was like well lucky me yeah but anyway uh yeah so it's one of them things so every you've got a terrible reputation amongst our customers um and uh, you know I don't, I don't know if i want to be a part of that exactly because do, do i need that in my life do i need people complaining to me at the doorstep whinging about the tracking and stuff like that i don't think i do um, I don't think I need that at all. So we're just heading back. We're driving around Gateshead here, heading towards Swalwell. Nothing too exciting going on. Uh, there we Couldn't see the traffic light. But anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so we're heading back. Um, and... I'm, I'm leaning towards jacking this in. I don't really want to go and do another delivery block, but I probably should do another one, I suppose, because that was my first one. But, like, genuinely, the first impressions of this well, it wasn't good. It doesn't feel professional. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel as professional as it does doing Amazon Flex. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe if, if some of you guys have done every for a while and, and like it, why not stick it in the comments? Let me know what your thoughts are on delivering for every. Um, have I just, I, I don't know, like I say, I, the, delivery was, the deliveries were actually fine, except for that one woman complaining. <laughs> but um, there was just something about it. It felt rushed. The whole process of applying here has felt rushed. And uh, I, I can see why they've got a high turnover in staff. I'll talk more about this when I get home, actually. So I'm going to cut off from here because I don't like recording and driving. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a, a fun day. I hope you're not delivering for every. But if you do deliver for every and I've got it all wrong, put it in the comments. Let me know. I mean, let me know your thoughts. I'm sure some people can make decent money at this, but it's not for me. Um, certainly not as a lifestyle courier. Maybe if you've got your own round, it's better. But no, thanks. Catch you later.